Hey everybody, I'm Jay Gex, and in this video I'm going to show you what the best planetary materials are to mine for in EVE Echoes. Hope you enjoy! The first thing I'll explain is how to use this guide. All ISK per hour rates are shown in yellow, with the changes from the previous four days in green and red. All of the rates shown are based down to 100%. That means if you're in a 0.0, .0 nullsec zone, getting a 200% bonus to output, you would double these rates per mining array. It's also important to note that these rates are calculated at perfect resources, so if you are mining from a rich or medium source, your ISK per hour rates will be slightly lower than what's shown. The same goes for if you're mining from planets in high sec zones. If you're still mining from high sec zone planets, for example, one that's in 0.5 space that gives you 150% output, you'd be increasing these rates shown by 50%. Just remember that in low and null sec systems, people can steal your planetary materials. So make sure you're near your planet and ready to pick them up before you launch them. And anyone just wondering how you, uh, if you're running low on planetary materials, just check out some planets in Nelsa and take other people's. Hey, I'll take that. Thanks. Now we'll look over the alloys. These are used for making ships, as well as various type of modules and drones. The prices listed are the 4-day average prices in the major high-sec trade hubs in EVE Echoes from September 7th to September 11th. Currently, precious and gleaming alloys are the best alloys to mine for using your planetary arrays. Lustering alloys have been selling quickly, but are becoming oversaturated in most high-sec markets. For the compounds, motley and opulent compounds are the best to be mining for currently. Motley compounds are used in making all T4 to T5 ships, as well as the Venture 1 and 2. So this early on in the game, with new players still coming in daily, expect these to remain profitable for a while longer. Opulent compounds are used in all T6 and above cruisers, and all of the T6 industrial ships. These ships are highly in demand right now, so expect opulent compounds to be a good material to sell for a while. Now up are the metals. The metals suffer from a low base output compared to other planetary materials. So while their prices sell for quite a bit, you don't mine them as quickly as other materials. Heavy metals are currently the only metal worthwhile to be mining for if your intent is to sell your planetary materials on the market. Reactive metals were good earlier on in the week, but have recently gone down by half in price. Base metals should be avoided at all costs while placing arrays. Next up are the fuel and energy sources. These are used to power player-made structures. These will go up in price when corporations start making capsuleer outposts in Nullsec, but until then they should be avoided in your planetary mining arrays unless you're stocking up to sell later on in the game. Last up are the planetary materials used in constructing structures. Many corporations are starting to set their eyes on making outposts in Nullsec, but currently this early on in the game, there are better things to mine for with your planetary arrays until these become more in demand, with coolant, construction blocks, and silicate glass being the exception to this. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe if you want to receive notifications when I release updates to all of these videos as well as release new series. I'll be on twitch.tv slash jgex if you have any questions. Otherwise, just leave a comment and I'll answer it. Thanks.